Hi, I'm Hunter from Older and Dumber. Do you like our content? Well, you should think about supporting us on Patreon. That way you can get access to episodes a week earlier than everyone else. And you can see May's notes, where she talks about how awful we are at this. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the show, dipshit. You understand, though, now. You see. I'm oh not my getting God. involved. We do not. Not getting involved. It's bullshit. This is exactly like when a fucking older brother picks on their little brother, and then the parents only see the little brother do the mean or bad thing. I think it's the opposite I way around. I literally said I wasn't going to get involved. That's I said nothing. It's I usually the opposite way around, where well, the younger me, brother the antagonizes the older one over and over and over again, and then finally the older brother is just Kills like, just, I'll fucking I, smack know, the shit out of you. I don't you. get it, because Hunter was all Mr. Me. Gleeful, telling me all about his new outer rim expansion, yeah. and... All this stuff That's in the when car. I fell asleep. We come fucking in the house. He's like, hey, stupid, sit down. Oh, my Why God. Why are you fucking up the sound that test? You don't understand Christmas. <laughs> literally never happened. This is a terrifying experience. <laughs> I might need to call my mom. Get her on the podcast. Get her on the mom really on the podcast. For one. I can't see one. Glasses meeting are number two. He didn't even put his glasses on for this. Well, he doesn't need to see. He just needs to hear. This isn't a video podcast. You don't need to worry about what you I turned. No, you I took him off to shave, and I haven't put them back on yet. Gets high with the straight razor. <laughs> Should keep your eye protection on. <laughs> I also drank three Fucking bottles of beer before. Looks I like he went five rounds with oh, a honey badger. That's why he cut himself, because he couldn't see. Mm -hmm. He just took his glasses off. Well, when you shave with a katana. It's true. It's the only blade I have. It's the only blade I'll ever need. Do you actually shave with one of those... No, no, it's a straight razor, so it's the in between between a a razor and a a um like a that kind of like razor. the barber ones where That's they get close the to your razor. throat. Yeah, and the you're ones like... that you kill people with are straight. You just razors. have a one razor. It's or one blade razor. It's Does he have a kill someone razor or a regular a one razor? He doesn't have just a kill the one razor. sharp blade and you fix it in. You're like He has he had basically it's so they between, had a straight razor. It's between regular then, razor, straight razor. There's something in here. It's designed from the very first disposable razor they created, where it was only one blade. You know what? German engineer. Hey, May's on the podcast this week. <laughs> That's a good start. You should get a five blade. Gets the job done. Yeah, 27 five blade? blades. Yeah. 27? Five blades? How do you have five blades in a razor? I don't understand. Three is the, the highest I've seen in a razor. A five blade is a disposable razor? Are you no. kidding? There's like mock five and like mock seven. Shit? It's a regular five blade razor. Yeah, it's like five a mock blades? five, right? Yeah. It's a... I had a five blade razor. This cuts close. It's a men's razor. Yeah. Because it's cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Pink tags. Fuck you. Oh, my glasses. He just broke his glasses. They've been broken. He just popped the lens out. He. They've been broken. Never mind. Everything he owns is broken. He's like, no, it's fine. Uh, I just my realized ABA I'm surrounded by blind expensive. people. Yeah. I want contacts really badly, so <laughs> once these like fully, fully break, that will I will have to go to an eye doctor. Holy shit, does that mean like three-fourths of the world are blind or need glasses? And only one-fourth have good eye vision? Your the sample size you're working from is <laughs> very. I, cho low. I chose my sample size specifically. <laughs> you're like, all right, I need three blind people. <laughs> it is kind of crazy, like that people can just wake up and see. <laughs> That's nuts. Every day I'm like, oh, can you get eye, I see. eye surgery? Like, yeah, I can't say? yet because my eyes are still changing. They have to stop for a specific amount of time. They're still the changing. other ones are still growing. Too. Wow! The other ones not growing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Assholes. Hey, I don't think your eyes are different sizes. I just think the opening's too small. Yeah. I took like an hour and a half nap in my room. Guys, May's here this week. That's count two. Two so far. No one's intro the podcast yet. I don't know. I kind of feel like an idiot sometimes. Although I am an idiot, so it kind of works out. Did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid? That's so funny. The last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. Put that cookie down now! That is the most real, authentic, hysterical laugh of my entire life because that is not a plan. What's your record for consecutive questions asked? Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Welcome to a new episode of Older and Dumber, the podcast about three dumb friends just trying to make it on this planet we call Earth. 
Earth. One of these days, I can't like I I set it up Terra every, firma. every week, and I just hope that both of you will actually say Earth at the same time. Oh. But we'll see someday. Earth C one thirty. Nice. Um, welcome to the new episode. A new episode. Uh, the newest episode. The newest that you're episode hearing that you're hearing. But the next week will. But be the if you're episode. listening back to this, it then could be an old not, episode. You're right. Could be. Could probably be. not could though. Be. Yeah. Maybe though. Maybe. They're really cool. You'll go back and watch all of them again. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking about this on the way here. People who start our podcast should not start from episode one. They should start from whatever the newest one is and then go backwards. There's too many now to start from the beginning. I think that's what normal people do. You know, that's what you'd think. For podcasts? Well, I guess I don't. For some podcasts, I just pick and choose whatever I want. But for I'm listening to a DMD podcast right now. So I had to start all D&D all the way at the beginning. What are you? Stinky Dragon, Tales from the Stinky Dragon. I don't know what that is. It's good. What you is should it? listen it's to it. From? It's good. It's very funny. Is it like, uh, their, like a standalone channel that does it, or is it like? It's through Rooster Teeth, and they're called. Oh. Is that the one you're always showing me clips from? Huh? Where they're puppets? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Anyway, guys, as always, we have Cardboard King, Cantrip Cards and Games co-owner. Uh, just got a new fresh haircut. Cut his face with a samurai sword, and. The heirloom gunman himself, Carter. Sounds like a like a contract killer. Yeah, I guess he is kind of like a contract. He hasn't got a single contract yet, but you know, he's done he's plenty got of one fucking contract killing that I know of. So killed someone defenseless, stuck in a cum grenade. He was not cum, defenseless. Cum. He had a gun. Cum, cum grenade. grenade. Self defense. Yeah. Uh, to my left, uh, note taker <laughs> general himself. Damn. <laughs> Doodler of notes. Man of the hour. Present rapper that can't carry more than one. He had four! Mage, AKA Joey Shikto. I thought every one it of them was, was going to be note related. It was four. <laughs> All right. Same difference. Let's well, not spread. Well, if you're fake rounding, news. if you're rounding, you got to round down then because it's not five. Uh, if it was five, then you would round up to ten. A new challenger approaches. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but man, the only person that didn't initially complain about my feet pics on Twitter, but then joined the crowd when everybody else did. I was just confused and thought they I were was... a Google image search. <laughs> I, I, was of I was more worried, but then, you know, I was Hunter like, Taylor. what the fuck is this man <laughs> posting? You guys don't fucking page. get memes. <laughs> I don't know if it was a meme. <laughs> you <were> like, <laughs> Foot Finder. <laughs> 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 what's going on guys it's me and this week we have special guest editor of the century belcher of the universe and eater of combos not buyer of hats shit overwatch queen showing us do it may leah two h's underscore it's me, your girl. There's no underscore on Twitch, but everything else there is. Um, in the in the chat, I need you to tell me if you have a one bladed razor or a five bladed razor. Have you at least Notice, heard of a five? Have you at least razor? heard? How many blades does your razor have? I'm notice taking how, a poll. Notice how she streams a lot because she said in the chat. In the chat. Instead of the comments. In the comments. <laughs> In the Patreon messages. <laughs> Somewhere in the Discord, tell me how many blades your razor has. Yeah. What's brought us all here today, Hunter? Um, Friday. Friday. It being a True podcast love. day. Love. That's what has brought us here today. Together. Damn, I thought it was the magic of Christmas. No, this week, uh... There it is. <laughs> it, 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 like, sunk down into me. You were like, no, oh, escape, God. escape! <laughs> No, this week, Joey, uh, the older and dumber crew had a slope day. The four of us, or five of us, went to Swain Ski Resort and uh, did some. What? Swain the ski resort itself, not great. Because Why we paid all out? this money. What if they wanted to advertise? And for us? they, yeah, and they didn't even turn on the lifts or anything. Yeah, and we did ask them to do it. And... First interaction, Hunter walks up. First of all, it's fucking pouring rain, so we're obviously Torrential very downpour. clearly the dumbasses, but we know it. Mm-hmm. We paid our money. We drove all this we way. We're still going to go. Yeah. 
Hunter goes, you guys still running the lifts? We still boarding? And the lady didn't even say words. She just was like, I don't know. Uh, you... Do you see me right in front of you? <laughs> Here I am, ready to take your money. And then Hunter was like, okay, well, those lifts are closed. And she was like, well, we'll turn them on when people get there. And we're like, okay. We get to the fucking lifts, and we're standing there for, like, long enough to for me to drag a couple people up the hill and then learn how to go down. <laughs> And like but, an hour, maybe. Yeah, it still was no a good lifts. half hour, forty five minutes at least. Yep. I I had gone to ask for the hot sauce multiple times. Once. I'm gonna you, say multiple times. You did go once though. I asked you to go multiple times. And then you guys were like, "We need, we need Hunter, the Mr. Karen, Karen himself, Mr. Yeah. Karen himself." Well, and you're like, did. "That's why I said I want multiple times." But then I did go. He you did you talk, talk to, to someone? Yes, I, I thought you just went to the bathroom. Oh, no. yeah, he no, talked to someone. Joey said I he literally, went to the, just went to the bathroom. You guys, you guys were literally like, we need you, Hunter. They're holding your PayPal funds. And I'm like, don't worry, I'll go. Yeah, I, like, I, have to, I was like, I have That's to pee out. first. So I went in, I went pee, and then I checked with someone. I was like, I need to go to the guest service to get the lifts on. She's like, yeah, you have to go there. So, okay. Went all the way to guest service, and I... Here's the fucking crazy part, too, which I didn't tell you. I stood at that same window where we first showed up. She was on the phone. I stood there waiting. Continued to be on the phone. Continued to be on the phone. Continued like to be Like a work call or a booth thing. I have call. no idea. I have no idea. All I know is she didn't even look at me or be like, one second. Just kept talking on the phone. Just kept going. I'm like... Damn, that's not my guest services. No. I'm like that's fucking... ticket sales. Well, that's, you know... Okay, so hold on. Okay. So she's sitting there, and I'm just like tapping my fingers. I'm like... Okay. Finally, someone comes up behind her, walks by, and does like a double take, walks by, looks at me, disappears out of my view, then walks backwards and goes, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I need help, please. So I fucking, she like goes to a different window, I go over the window, and she, instead of like pulling up the window thing, she just moves with her hand, turns on the thing. How can I help you? We need a lift turn on over there. We were told the lift will be turned on. She goes, oh, I just heard someone on the radio. They're going over to turn it on now. I said, oh. Meanwhile, okay. Yeah, so meanwhile, while he was... over there, over on the other side, uh -huh. yeah. where we were waiting for a lift, we see this guy smoking, <laughs> just smoking, and then he must have smoked three cigarettes. Yeah, and then we see a lady come out, and Joey's like, "Oh, that's the lady I talked to. She must be coming to turn on the lift or tell that guy to turn on the lift." And then he waves to her. She marks something on her pad, walks back inside. Joey's like, "Oh." Then she comes back, just staring at us. Joey waves. She disappears. She comes back. Looks at us some more. Joey waves. She disappears. What? Uh -huh. Yes. And okay, then she but... comes back with the man who was smoking. They're both staring at us. Uh -huh. Joey waves. <laughs> and then finally, the man who was smoking comes over. I was like, all right, they're going to turn on the lift. Everything's fine. He goes... Yeah, they're not going to turn on that lift anytime soon. So you know where the other one is? I was like, y could it possibly be the only one that's moving today? <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to go over there. They're kind of beginner trails. Oh, <laughs> sure. We start heading that way, AKA, defeated. AKA the longest green trail in the yeah. park. Mm -hmm. We start heading that way, defeated. And then he's like, do you know what trail this is? I was like, no, I have no idea what trail that is. He was like, well, there's the map. <laughs> what the, why are you asking me where it is then? And then Hunter comes back and he's like, yeah, they're going to turn on the lift. I was like, Hunter, they just told me they're not turning on the lift. When I was just told they're coming to turn on the lift. And then they didn't turn on the lift until 4 p.m. So 4 we still could have been standing there. Up. So, okay, yeah. We can say that the guest service was pretty shitty Swain, at the beginning of the day. Swain, the whole place looked very run down. It's 75 years old. Yeah, they haven't done any improvements since 75. <laughs> oh, no, the um, lot, no, the lot done a lot different. of improvements. The, the bar was nice. The bar was the only saving grace. Yeah, it was good. fun. No, yeah, don't get me wrong, but definitely the worst... Just sitting here shitting on fucking Swain after we had a good we day. We can yesterday. shit on things and still enjoy it. Yeah, them. we definitely mm -hmm. had a good day. It wasn't about the good mountain. Thing, yeah. It was about the friends we made along the way. It's true. We didn't make any new friends. Oh, no, we did. That, that old guy. Did. The, the old guy. Yeah. We made, he was a new friend. And then fucking eight schools showed up and almost ruined the night. 
How? The lifts they actually took got turned de- on. I mean, yeah. But they, like, took and destroyed all of our shit. Those kids did not give a fuck about personal space. Those are just kids. They're fucking assholes. I hate children. Yeah. I hope that there's children listening to this podcast and they know. There is. That's I our key demographic. If we put if we put ski porn in the title, <laughs> fucking we're going to get 575,000 views. Yeah, we figured this. out the algorithm. Just put porn in every title. If you guys are between the ages of 13 and let's say, I don't know, 20. I hate Damn. You. I don't hate you. Just like be get better. Some, get some common sense. Yeah. Try harder. Yeah. Be decent. Slightly out of that demographic. No, that just when barely. I say, just barely, haha, got him to you. I'm just oh, playing yeah. along Joey with you guys. Oh, yeah, Joey got in a fight with 12-year-olds. <laughs> no fight. You know what I'm, It was a passing conversation on the lift. It yeah, was but, not like, a fight. Carter are, and I in, are in the front of the lift, <laughs> and we hear kids talking and laughing, and then all of a sudden, I hear, I'm going to rail your mom. I was like, oh, shit. Who's going on back there? And then I hear Joey's voice. I don't know what he said. And then I hear the little kid go, fuck you. And I was like, oh. Oh shit, Joey's dead. So they were they were on the opposite list. So the lifts go up side by side and they were on the other side. And it was a group in the front chair and a group in the back chair. And the group in the front chair or the kid in the back chair was like, Oh hey man, check it out, a rail park. And the kid in the front chair was like, I railed your mom last night. And I was like, Ha ha got him. <laughs> and the kid in the back chair was like, Fuck you. <laughs> and I was like, Carter, is that is that our, do, do we know that is voice that fighting with the 12 year olds? Carter was like, yeah, it's Joey. It <laughs> <laughs> was good, good skiing. You know, I, I went real fast. Carter <laughs> touched the sky. That was fucking crazy. That's going to be put on Patreon. And then he fell like an accordion. I think on that the video. That was not when I was going fast. He, uh, he also went fast another time, and they had to put up slow signs at the bottom of true. the green trail. Yeah. Immediately after my run, they put <laughs> some guy, some one of the ski uh, rescue people. I think it was the ski uh, ski patrol. squad, whatever ski, ski squad. squad. And walked over <laughs> there squad. with a slow with a slow marker, looked directly at me, and was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, hey, I think they're putting that up because of me." <laughs> At the I end, was booking it. On that same trail, like the next time, Carter, there were kids on the mountain now, so there were more obstacles to avoid. And we, like the end of that trail is pretty long uh, and narrow. And pretty narrow. And A you also, zone. you get going pretty fast. And the whole time I was telling Hunter, like, don't turn on your turbo yet. You don't want to go too fast here. I look up at Carter and he's fucking gone. Turbo <laughs> all the way. <laughs> And his like legs are, you know, when you're going too fast on a bike and the front wheel starts to turn a little bit, yeah. Carter's feet were doing that. I was like, oh my God, he's dead. Oh my God. The end of the trail is coming. There's just dirt. And he's like, I see him trying to move his body weight to turn. I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just started laughing. AKA I drifted into the end zone. He did Perfect. turn, but I, I, was, I was laughing maneuver. so hard. Meanwhile, Hunter's fallen on his ass 20 times hey, by now. Hey, in he... the first run, I fell a lot of times. I got to see Mad Hunter in Yeah, person. I was scared. I really thought you were going to lose it. First run, I Joey's fell a lot of times. Joey's the one behind the angry Hunter. <laughs> with a, that, with a little, that's why it gets with a, worse. With a little wooden poot toothpick and just go, he's got fire at the end of it, and he's fucking poking me with it all the time. You know, I've never gotten angrier in my life than when I became friends with Joey. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, the first run I fell a lot of times, but after that first run, I got my legs back and I did a lot. Hopefully. It was a teachable moment for me. Hmm? Teachable moment. You were losing your fucking mind, and I was like, "Hey, hey, bud, please stop. <laughs> I'm scared." <laughs> you did not say that. Hold no. on, you're scaring me. Let's get, <laughs> let's get. Hold on, let's get the real thing going here. No, no I was very, Help. very angry and very pissed because I hate falling and failing. I hate failing. It makes me very upset. But then May was like, hey, it's okay. You're going to fall. It's all right. And I was like, I don't fucking like falling. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> he was like, I don't fucking like falling. I was like, it's part of it. Like, yeah. you couldn't, when we first started, you couldn't even stand up. Yeah. Now you fall, you get right back up. Like, you're improving already from falling. And then we talked about, like, weight dis- distribution and how you can kind of stop that. And then he just... Went all the way down the hill. And I just did it. He just did it. And then every the time, and then every time after that, I just did it. Fly, Hunter. <laughs> Fly. I, uh, she threw me from the nest, and I flew. I used to ski like a phoenix. I rise like from the when ashes. I was like twelve or thirteen, a lot. 
And so I was a little this is like the story of the three boys. Over, we all used to right. ski and snowboard a lot when yeah. we were like twelve or thirteen. Mm -hmm. And I was I I was like overconfident. Like I had like the very basic skills down when we first got to the mountain where I was like, I know how to pizza and french fries <laughs> and i can go back and forth but like on the hill that we were on because it was the longest green the longest fastest green i was like oh if i turn i'll die <laughs> <laughs> uh so like i kept if each I turn, i'll die each time i kept trying to do like test how far i could turn was going down um and I was like, I'm going to just fucking die. On the last one, like when we were going down the blue and we were when we were going down the green on the other side, I really was like, OK, I don't think the long turns are working really for something this steep going that down. Mm -hmm. So I just did like short moguls. It, it worked out. And I was like, OK, I think I've got some amount of progression here. Nice. And then I almost died. That shit was so yep. fucking funny. I was going down the hill. I was like, all right, I'm going to follow May because she's going up these cool little hills. It goes up and down. I've been up one. She's doing cool things. I want to do that. I want to do a cool thing. But <laughs> I, I went up like the first one. I was fine. Went up the second one. It was fine. And then May, I thought May was going to continue going forward. And she was she at the top of the hill. What you were doing. She stopped okay. right behind looking for people. Yeah. And then I went up and I was like, oh, shit, I can't stop or I will kill May. I moved. You moved after I was already up there. I moved. There's a video. I moved. We have evidence. Yeah. Also, like, I didn't expect you to be that fucking close to me. I, I turned around and you I were zoomed. like there. And I just see these, this tall, lanky boy coming at me <laughs> at 90 miles per hour. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm dead. Let me move. And then I was like, oh, my God, he's dead. He's yeah. going way too fast for this. I went up and then I went down. <laughs> And then I was like, I need to hit the ground as fast as possible. Fucking so I threw don't... his balls. <laughs> He's fucking. <laughs> I was like, I don't need these fucking anymore. I didn't want them in the first place. And you motherfuckers made me go down for poles. I fucking saw hit you the ground the in accordion. You did use the poles a lot. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was dead at first, which Back is why I didn't laugh. touched the ground while his feet were Dude, flat I had flashbacks to when my friend Clark told me about when he went snowboarding and he broke his fucking hip off a jump so i was like i need to just like sort of survive the fall and not try to land the fall i saw you on the ground your your fucking body parts were mangled your legs <laughs> yeah. were the wrong way I was over like, there his legs holy shit are you okay and you're like yeah immediate laughter i started laughing so fucking hard i was like where'd my balls go <laughs> funny. I, was, I was at the bottom of the hill filming it and i was like Damn, we made it all day. We made it all day to this point. They wanted to do one more run, and now he's dead. <laughs> that was slope day. So before slope day, how was your week, Carter? It was fine. You know, I went to the gym one time. Uh, I had to get my uh, my car jumped. Hunter came. He jumped my car, and then this week. And then and then we. I went and I. Uh, I was at work and I was like, "Oh, my car's not my car's not starting. The battery must be dead." So then Clark jumped my car, and then this guy sounds like he has yeah, started. Yeah, sounds issues. like your car is. I don't know how cars work, so I was like, "It must be the battery. It keeps starting when I jump my car." So then, I try to start my car this morning, and I was like, "Oh, I can't start my car." And then I was like, "All right, start," and then it finally started. I was like, all right, hopefully I can get home. Did not did get not, home. You did not get home. <laughs> did not start again. So my starter's dead. Sounds like a fuck starter. Um, all the lights turn on in my car. Yeah. Yeah, your battery is not dead. Yeah. I figured that out. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, apparently you can hammer on your starter, but I didn't believe it. Yeah. They seize up. So Joey's going to go with me tonight. No. It's After we watch Fox Snowy. Is it snowy? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's part of the reason it took so long to get back from the mall. How was your week, Joe? Oh, you know, I uh, went snowboarding for the first time in like 13 years. And then we went up to the mall today and I got to tell Hunter about a bad person that he bought Pokemon cards. You bought other things from him. Hunter supported an asshole today. <laughs> I can't believe you. I thought I raised you better than this. <laughs> 
and I egged May on into buying stuff at the Lego store. Yeah, so, she bought something today. I was so buy? close to leaving without buying anything that I started celebrating. I was like, I didn't buy anything. And Joey was like, dude, that tall neck in the Lego store, it's not that expensive. You like Horizon. I was like, Joey, I haven't even set up my collector's edition of Horizon. No space. He was like, fine space, May. And that was it. I bought it. <laughs> Immediately. There's a will. There's a way. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do much this week. I don't have to work anymore, basically. You didn't do anything this week? No. No? You play Starfinder? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess that happened. But, I mean, that happened for everybody at this table, so it doesn't feel like it's exclusive to my week. So, the slope day, you mentioned that in the beginning of your, how'd your week go? Damn. We also played Starfinder. <laughs> He's like, fuck, Carter got me. All right, we played Starfinder. <laughs> Hunter, did you get any rolls this week? I did not get any new roles this week, but I auditioned for a couple. Uh, May, that's it. May bought us gifts. I could do but, that. Uh, that's why I tried to be like the magic of Christmas brought us together, but then Hunter was like Christmas. May bought is us fake. glass glassware that has a D twenty in it with our names engraved on it. Yeah, Pretty cool. Really from, May, uh, May did a very good job. Ben Shaw, right? She was very dude. When she was buying this gift, she didn't know what it was. But when she was buying, she's like. I got you guys a gift. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, I, I think it's going to be really good. I think you guys are really going to like it. But I, if I, if I you tell you anymore. her face when we she's were like, opening it. She was like, yeah. I fucking hope they like this. I, yeah, yeah, it was. So it was. I, I was, I was also like super worried because you were like breaking them. So I was not breaking them. I was opening You scared the box. me a little bit when you were opening the box. That's how you so, open a box. No, you no. take your knife out. You cut the tape. No. And you I mean, the I work box. in You work in box. Yes, yeah, so you should know how to open it. I know that Amazon tape, real bad. You can go like this, which I did. So when she called the first time, she was like that. And then she was like, you guys are really going to like it. I don't want to spoil it. So stop asking me about it. I'm like, I didn't ask you about it. You just started talking about it. I get real excited. She's like, I just, I'm really excited. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep it secret. So I got to stop talking. So, okay. And then the next time she talked, we talked, she was like, God, I really hope you guys like this gift. I don't know if I got a good gift. If you don't like the gift, I can just return it. I swear. Like, if it's not good, it's fine. I have anxiety. I'm like, it's going like, to be fine. I'm like, I'm like, is it big? Is it small? She's like, I don't know. Like, it's like medium. I'm like. Okay, that doesn't say anything. She's like, well, I don't know if it's going to go in your mailbox or if it's not going to go in your mailbox. So, well, it's probably not going to go in the mailbox if it's in a box. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I don't think you guys are going to, I don't know if you guys are going to like it. It's like, it's okay. Like, it's all right. It's an okay gift. I'm like, the first time you said it, you were excited about it and you loved it. It's going to be okay. It's all right. I, I don't know. I don't think you're going to like it. And then to the point well, where it's you because opening the gift. It's because, like, I get all in my head. I'm like, oh, sh like, you know, when you see a gift and you're like, this person would really like this. And then, like, no thoughts, just buy. Mm -hmm. So I did that. So what they are, in case we are all talking oh. over each other, um, it's it's a little beer cup with a D20 in it, and it also has each of their names on each cup. It's about a pint glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was super excited. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, these fucking nerds are going to love these cups. And then I was like, oh my god, what if they don't love these cups? <laughs> then I started freaking out. Mm -hmm. And then I also wasn't sure about them, like, Getting broken. I don't know. I have an anxious brain. I thought of everything well, before Hunter they even opened it. Them. No, I won't. But yeah, that's what they are. Continue. I didn't get any rolls. I auditioned a couple. What'd you audition for? I auditioned for my mom. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I auditioned for a weird, some fox kid. His full-hearted fox Free. named Lenny. Uh, he's like happy go lucky, and he's like, "Come on, guys!" And then, uh, and then I auditioned for a a mafia rat named Squeaky. Mafia <laughs> rat named Squeaky. You uh -huh. talked about that. I know. We I talked about, about it yesterday. Podcast, so. And oh. then I auditioned for this uh, fighting game character named Igor. And I am us... Igor. Yeah. Is he Russian? No. Can you give us a little sample of each one? Uh. My name is Igor. Um, balance and tranquility. Oh, oh that's it's Zenyatta. Old, the, yeah, yeah, it's Zenyatta, Zenyatta ogre. Let me put Troll. my balls in your mouth, guy. <laughs> and then there was Squeaky, who was like, uh, "Come on, get out of here! Get I want to see your faces here. no more. I want to see you around here no, no more. Of you're gonna on. what I just saw." Uh, and then Lenny was like, uh, come on, guys. He was like, I had to get my SpongeBob voice on because that's what they wanted. So it was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can't even get it now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn, and then I did it. this guy who's like, um, so it's an audio. And this one I didn't talk about. His name's Noah. And it's like an audio drama about this kid. 
Well, this guy who uh, he works at a zoo and he does a bird show or whatever. And he has this girlfriend who's a criminal and she's like a con artist. Um, but she just pretended or she didn't just pretend she, um, she faked her death. And now there's like FBI agents who keep questioning him. So he has to keep pretending that she's dead and go see a therapist and pretend that she's dead. So that's like the whole thing. And then it's like he oh, gets like tricked a... into having good mental health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's pretty cool. And it's like uh, the very first line I had to audition was like um, it was. Uh... Oh, what the fuck was it? Um, what's the fucking even point of life? Like I watched 40 hours of G or of uh, geographical documentaries yesterday and I learned something. We're all just fucking gazelles running around, not knowing where we're going until one day we fall, get hurt, or get our fucking throats snapped by a cheetah or a lion. Or a Sanji. <laughs> it was like a whole yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was cool. But I did that and then played Starfinder on Tuesday, which was a really dope stream. I mean, goodness. We were like... I don't know. That seems like a Malia thing. Yeah. Why Malia week. Right Having a good time. Uh-uh. Jesus, guys. May, how'd your week go? My what week. the fuck? <laughs> I don't keep saying you're done your week. I don't yeah. Know. Well, I that. know we've tried to give you the spotlight here. Is your times. week done, Hunter? It is now. <laughs> My week is good. I worked. I got done working. Uh, I thought I was going to lose my job for like five seconds. All of GameStop's corporatization crashed. Yep. So I lined up a second job. And now I'm in crisis because I can't figure out which I want. Maybe by the time you hear this, I'll have my life figured out. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably not. There's a lot more to that. Mm -hmm. Um... You we got played... years of this not having it figured out shit ahead of you. Oh, no. I don't have the brain capacity for that. Uh, Starfinder was fun. What'd uh, you do in Starfinder? I'm going to be honest. I blacked out <laughs> during Starfinder. I didn't know who we you got blacked rated out. From. I didn't know until they all started. Yeah, so I got an over 100 person raid, and I blacked out. I started sweating. I started smelling. I started freaking out. And then, like, as all of these hundred people are talking, saying hi, like, there are highlighted messages being like, hi, this is our game, so glad you're enjoying it. Hi, I wrote this portion of this story, so glad you're enjoying it. Hi, I'm the creative director of this game. I was like, what the fuck's happening? What is this? Who are you people? <laughs> What are you doing here? I was like, I was in chat. I was like, thanks everybody for coming. Yeah, Carter was How's my voice. Going? I was like freaking the fuck out. So that was cool. Paizo. We got Paizo. raided by Paizo. Official, we official got raided Paizo. by Paizo. Creators yeah. of Starfinder yeah. and Pathfinder. Yeah, that was nuts. In it's a terms Starfinder of... stream. They don't care about Pathfinder. I'm just giving reference to what <laughs> Paizo is. In terms of the actual content of Starfinder... We became detectives. Yeah, Carter killed a man in cold blood. I did. That's true. That, that is like how my character works, yes. I, I tried to... You two and the cahoots that oh you're Oh my in. god, there's no cahoots. I feel like you guys have more That's cahoots Carter. than Hunter, anyone Hunter else. and Carter sitting here. Hunter's like, Hunter's like, yo, Joey's going to try to capture one of these guys because he has those sticky grenades oh and question him. But that's not what the what the module calls for. So you're going to have to kill the guy that he captures because he's going to do it. You know, I he think is. That Carter, like, don't has, worry, homie. I got when, you. Okay. When has Bell ever not taken the violent option? Multiple when he didn't times. kill the man shitting on the toilet. Yeah, because you were there consistently. Like, I was there not when I was saying, don't kill this man. You we need to bring him in. in combat turns, though. So technically, he didn't hear you. It was all happening like this. Okay, well... Right. However, just Bell. to keep your mind at ease, there is rules for if you kept someone alive or captured them, so I didn't work with Bell them. was like, oh, this job's gonna go wrong if this guy lives. They're gonna kill my crew again. I need to kill him. Execute. Hmm. Have you guys ever heard the phrase frozen with terror? Just wondering, because, like, I tried to make a guy stop in Starfinder by scaring him, and, and then Hunter, was, Hunter like, was like, nah, he's no. leaving. He took May's Literally, perfectly perfected idea your, that she wanted to your, do. Okay. This ounce of creativity hold on, hold on, that May had put hold on, into this game. Hold on, love hold on, hold on, stop, stop, I meant stop. Like this. <laughs> I, take this into context, you ready? You ready? You ready? There is people combating you. They're shooting, they're fighting, blah, blah, blah. And they're on their way out. They're oh, trying to they're escape. Yeah. They're trying to escape. Instead of saying, stop right there, fiend. 
You went. <laughs> Comedy. Like what? I would have been terrified if somebody in the mall. He was terrified. He said, "I gotta get the fuck away from that person." If someone, we're walking in the mall. Crazy. We're walking in the mall. Okay. Somebody just start stand still and start screaming. I run. Everyone in the mall is gonna stop and be run. like, "What the fuck is that?" Run. You're stopping. Run. You're stopping. I'm running. Carter is stopping. You are run. definitely gonna stop. You're gonna stop for at least six seconds to be like, "What the what fuck's the going fuck? on?" What the fuck? Yeah. I'm running. Running. I don't believe that. No. Run. It's because all those people had to escape. Yeah. For the he didn't escape. Work. Dude, even if he did stop, Bell would have been like, I got him! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because that was the true. second failsafe you oh had. No, probably God. what would have happened is that you guys would have seen that I killed the first person, and you would have been like, on your turn, you would have been like, don't fucking kill him, Bell. And then I wouldn't have killed him. And then Hunter would have been like, this guy has cyanide in his teeth. He's dead. I feel like our life is lived in Hangar 94. Sometimes it is. It really do be like that. You know, we could have gone on the, you know, a treasure planet. One of these days, adventure. I'm just going to flip the map. And it's going to be like, this is hangar H6. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I wanted to go on a treasure planet-esque adventure. I wanted to go to prom. Where we about the power of friendship and got betrayed by our mentor figure. But no. No. We got to do other shit. We had our first boss fight. I don't mm -hmm. think we talked about that. Dog shit. Yeah, real bad. Mm -hmm. Didn't go great. You guys didn't have equipment. No, I, I do. No fine. one's hitting shit on me. I have a 20 KAC. Damn. I didn't know you went up that high. I mm -hmm. went to 22, I think. You guys are badasses now. Well, oh, Shaylin's a badass. We're me. like sort of, he's, he's, we're in his shadows. I want magnetic gloves. So if Shaylin ever tries to run, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll be that. Get over here. <laughs> Get over here. Anti Shaylin <laughs> gloves. Yeah. Mostly for Listen, my Listen, Dante, I need, I need a real special request. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm May, and I'm the editor of the Older and Dumber podcast. Do you know what hell I go through each week editing these? Do you know how much shade I throw at the guys for existing? You would if you were subbed to our Patreon. Patrons get week early access to all our episodes and also get a sneak peek at my super secret editing notes. Sub today at Older and Dumber. That's Older, the letter N, Dumber on Patreon. See you later, dipshits. See, here in Older and Dumber, we did a Secret Santa. Our Secret Santa was a $100 minimum. $100 buy him. I think it was a $100 limit, but some of us broke that. Um, today, we're going to open up all these gifts, so we have to go get in uh, Michaela, special guest. Michaela was also Second special here. guest. Second special guest. Friend of yep. the show, Michaela. <laughs> Only the friend. The Acrobat show. of the show. Right. I have a dumb so question. So we're going to call her in, and we're going to start doing Secret Santa stuff. How does Secret Santa work? We well, did it really it? badly. We did it really year. badly this year. Do you give it and then guess? Do you yeah, usually that's the like case? But them, Hunter but... already gave me my gift. Don't you could have waited. You already know. I know. I know. She listened Listen. to the podcast and edited it. <laughs> and in her notes, she was like, "Why am I here?" Why, that... Yeah, the notes say, "Why am but I here?" But in the here? future, next year, what's supposed to happen? We're is supposed to give it to suppo a bias, Shut the fuck up, party. There's supposed to be a neutral third party that hands out gifts that knows where all of them go. And then you know you can also do secret Santas where you just draw a name. Why don't you tell him to shut the fuck up? Because... You can also just write the names on and have people pick the ones with their name. That's true. Either way, some a you are not supposed to know who are you getting it from, and you're supposed to guess afterwards. And then at the end, we reveal who gave gifts. But if you have the the neutral party wrap them, then they're all on the same wrapping paper. Yeah, it's well, yeah. Since you know, since you guys ruined it. Yeah, me and Hunter. You tell, you I, tell everybody what Hunter got. I got the big hawk statue from My Hero. That that was really good. The, Wait, uh, so you got that like four weeks, three weeks ago? Yeah, the artifacts. You Jay ruined hawk it for statue. that long? I gave it to him for Christmas because it was more than the limit. So it was plus his Christmas gift. Yeah. Yeah. It's been this long. It was, We've it been deceived was really for that nice many gift. weeks. I didn't say anything because I, I don't <laughs> react to gifts usually. Was, that terrifies me. Carter was like cool and he just dropped it on the ground. I was like cool and I was consistently like opening it and like like set, getting ready to set it up. But like to gifts I'd like barely ever react. Damn. I, I like made that. sure to put on a show for May because I could tell that she really needed it and a yeah, reaction was... from it. So I was like, all right, gotta put on a face now. Yeah. 
but I do really enjoy the cups. I, I, I like them a lot. They're cool. Good. Um, so let's do let's do maze first. Okay, so one of the some of these are your secret Santa ones, and one of them is just a gift. Thanks. We don't know what's okay. what. It's like Secret Santa. You don't know. I have no idea. Do you wanna do you wanna know something? What? I don't know if I should tell you now. Tell me. It's got the cat. Oh, nice. Now, what do you think? Secret Santa or a regular gift? Can I assess them all first? Yeah, let her no, assess them. No. But you should tell people what you got because this um, isn't a visual. I got video. Ripley with the cat as a mini epic. I'm missing this one. I have all of the aliens and all of the predators. And I'm missing this one and one more. And then I have it all. Well, I'm not missing this one anymore. So there's that. Thank you. It's Boba's ship. Boba Fett's it's starship. Blade One, also known as Boba Fett's starship. AKA Fire Spray. AKA that. With Boba and Mandalorian. It's dope. Mandalorian Thank you. Din I got the Lego Mando helmet. Man, you're going to be doing so I'm many gonna Lego have to builds do on your so stream. So many Lego builds. <laughs> now I have to get all the helmets. Thank you. Oh, it's Carter. a sickness. How did you know? Because I knew. Damn. Here's it how. It couldn't be from the Discord where he shared his <laughs> gifts with the wrapping paper on them. <laughs> Listen. Erm also ruined it. I oh. actually okay, so I had talked to Erm about getting you a gift. I was like, all right, I'm gonna send you some images. Send her one image. I was like, what about the th the droid from Fallen Order? Do you does she have that yet? Because she was looking at it on the Florida trip, and I yeah. don't know if she has it yet. And she was like, no, I don't think she has it yet. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. But then, Erm got that, and I was like... Yeah, did... we got it for Erm. I know. And then I was like, did she just want that because she, she wanted to get it for Erm, or did she want it for herself? I don't know anymore. <laughs> and so I switched it up completely, and I was like, all right, these two equal around 100. So I was like, and I think she'll like them. And I called Hunter, and I was like... I was like, my gifts, it's it's out the window. I don't know what to get anymore. Um, Erm asked me a couple of weeks ago. She was like, Did Carter give you your gifts? I was like <laughs> I, I was like, Erm. <laughs> I was like, Emily, do you not understand the entire goal of Secret Santa? It's a secret. She's like, You didn't do it yet? I was like, You I hang out with you every single night. When would I have had the time? She's like, Oh, don't tell him. <laughs> Can't believe this. Yeah, the she, only one I trusted. Yeah, she ruined it. But thank you. I like these a lot. Well, this is from Joey. What? Because so I already got my secret Santa gift. What is this? Oh, oh it's nice. my first waifu statue. I would literally said to myself, I'm not gonna buy myself a waifu statue because I don't believe <laughs> in them. And then Joey bought me one. So was that from yeah, the so much yeah. Titans and Titties section of the? place we were in today it wasn't but it could have been could have been oh yeah robin is my waifu i will proudly display this on your Thank new you. shelves on my new shelves there's plenty of room i need to make a one piece section I need to make separate sections for each each kind hell yeah she's not doing that much but she's doing well she's, she's doing, got the she's doing out. something yeah <laughs> she's doing something maybe not on the statue but which one should I? Okay, which one should I open? Maybe the one that's basically open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What we got? Fuzzy socks. Hell yeah. Dude, I love fuzzy socks. I. Someone knows I love fuzzy socks because that's mostly what I wear. These are Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. They're Grogu socks. What else we've got? It's a bracelet. Alchemy. Alchemy. Oh. Reading with that. Hunter. <laughs> That's Reading how you say rainbow. <laughs> oh, nice. What else you got? <laughs> We've got some <laughs> bud from our uh, local sticker shop. <laughs> what is it? Blueberry muffin. Does it taste like blueberries when you eat it? You That's how that works, right? Yeah, you don't eat it. It often does. It's like sweet smelling, though. 
So it's not like it's not flavored. It is. It is. No. It's not flavored, but they often name weed after like uh, what baked it? goods. Oh, but not because it's flavored. It just no because. So like this shit makes you want to like eat blueberry snacks. muffins. <laughs> yeah. It's like cookie it names and I don't know. Be cooler if it was flavored. Cookie and fruit names. How do you flavor weed? I think we're on. You'd to have to infuse here. it. We're on to something yeah. here. That's our next business venture. I have to imagine this is the secret Santa one. What the one you just opened? Yeah, that's. I don't know. What do you think? I don't, I don't know. Um. Well, I have to imagine it's not May because there's some local stuff here. Yeah, that would be impossible. It was me. Who was, was me? Was me? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were joking for a second. <laughs> no, it was me, yeah. Nice, nice. Thank you. Of course. How did you do it? This one was house. <laughs> Housewarming <laughs> present was this one. Aw, thank you. She probably you had some local connections. In. Yeah. Did you get titties too? Not titties. <laughs> I thought Joey gave everyone titties. <laughs> a, uh, no, I gave yeah. you a kitty. That's a fucking the stitch pride pop nice yeah, i fucking love this or hanan armin's family thank you welcome that's joey's so it's to me on it <laughs> it does say that's say joe i like this gift because it says to oh, me says <laughs> oh hell yeah diddy it's a jolene dude jolene. fucking hell jolene. hell yeah the rebel tech one i think Oh yeah, that's awesome. How many Michaela, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. How many pulls? Uh, you, uh, you know, she's got a bunch of joints and extra hands. Looks like seven extra hands, eight extra hands. She's got her threads. Oh, she's got threads. Yeah. Damn. I remember seeing this when we were in Florida at Vault. The one with the fallout. Yeah. Yeah. Not, 231. Not 231. Something like that. I'll have to go back and listen to the podcast. If you like guys want to know what the think, comic book shop is. This last one is mine. 469. Kind of has to be, right? I think so. And I think it's from I Joey. That's how... Yeah, that's wrapped too extra... nicely to be anyone else. Hey, mine else. was the mm -hmm. nicest wrapped here. I would definitely mm -hmm. argue that this might have been. That is yeah, that way worse. Is pretty nice. right here. Well, it's, I literally had three different golden <laughs> ribbons on it. You have <laughs> tissue paper your on your face. No one excellent. can take you seriously. <laughs> That's a Lego. Ah! Is it BD1? Oh my god! Yes! I'm kind of glad I didn't buy it now. That would be really funny. <laughs> yeah. BD1's on the table right yeah. now. Yeah. Battle of the oh, BD. Shit. Dude, that's lit. That's so dope. Comes with little stims. He, he yeah, they oh, go in his head. Are. You gotta put him in his head. Oh, look, he's got a tiny little BD one. I love that it has this plate. That plate's really dope. To, like, I was thinking about head. getting you the, like, the desk size Legos, like the ones that emulate a scene, like mm -hmm. the trench run and that stuff. Yeah. But I didn't, I don't, I'm like halfway on the fence for those as well. Like, I'm like, yeah, are he's these like cool or are these size. dog shit? One to one. <laughs> So I didn't really want to get one because no. I was like, eh. "These are dope." Pieces. That's what they call them. But you can put them in your PC. You can. I just like, <laughs> I don't know. It terrifies me that people do that. No, no, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I was looking at them. <laughs> was it May? Mm -hmm. No way. You got somebody already. Fuck Carter. Ah, oh, no. darn it. Did I get this myself? Mm -hmm. No. Then it was Michaela. Right? No, this was Michaela. Damn it. Damn. There's no one else in the group. I no. <laughs> this is why oh. you're so sad. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. You're welcome. This all started because I was like, Joey, you have four years to live. Mm -hmm. This is your fault. Yep. Well. Thank you, Joey. This is a really nice gift. You better I stream the build. I fuck it. <laughs> I can't wait to put it together. Uh, for anyone who can't hear Hunter, he got a Lego BD1. From Joey. Oh, yes. Yes. That happened. <laughs> the same gift that was going to get me and then backtracked. Really, really... That would have been and good. also the gift that Erm got. Erm got. Yeah. We all would have got it. I don't feel special anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Nice. We did it. Merry Christmas, yeah, everyone. Yeah, Merry oh. Christmas. Yeah, next We should answer questions before we end oh, the episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are supposed to do that. We're at the still out of order. <laughs> we do have two questions for me, so. All right. This question is from Creamed Corn Dog. What? A return listener questionnaire. May, when you worked for Hunter, how many times a week did you fantasize about murder? <laughs> Many, but not because of Hunter. I just have been working in retail for too long, and when people come in and are fucking stupid, I want to murder them. Yep, kill them. Um, what was everyone's favorite episode to record and why? Well, I've only recorded a few, mm -hmm. so out of those few, Florida was real fun. That's... Florida trips are always bangers. Yeah. Favorite episode you've edited? I think my favorite episode I've edited that had me laughing the hardest was the man trying to buy the Oculus mm. or the PlayStation VR. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good episode. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> or... No, it's a two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, or... four, six, eight, ten. Or the one where somebody died on the floor. <laughs> This guy's dead. <laughs> this guy's dead at a GameStop. Yeah, that was pretty wild. That one was pretty funny, too. Thank you guys so much. Now, before we go, Carter, you can go ahead and inter or go upcoming, ahead and uh, update people for upcoming. us. Upcoming. In the next month, we will have our first episode of yeah, our new look show. Yeah, for behind-the-scenes content. Right? Yeah, we should be releasing that at some point once we are going ahead. Early February, we will be releasing our first episode of Gaslight Theater. What else comes out in February? February? My mom. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, right. Early February. That's why I was thinking February, not because yeah. of the Gaslight Theater. Because of our uh, special followership goal, our uh, not fundraiser, but goals for this year for followers and for patrons. Uh, so you should see behind the scenes content for that, a little bit of sneak peeks, and uh, finally a released one once Joey does it without killing himself. Yes. Uh, and anything else? We are every Friday, new episodes. Gaslight Theater should be every Sunday. Well, and one Sunday. Once a month. Once a month. A month. Once a month. Yeah. Or once, sorry, once a <laughs> month. Every Sunday. time Gaslight Theater happens, it will be once a month on Sunday. <laughs> Starfinder, every Monday until it changes. <laughs> every again. Tuesday. Every Dude. Tuesday until it changes. I'm a mess tonight. I'm Imagine a... shaking and rolling dice. Yeah. Should be fun. Where and what time? Well, that's me, Hunter. Let yeah. me tell you where you can find all of our stuff. Starfinder. Why, you can find that on Melia's stream over on Twitch. We play every Tuesday night starting at 9. It doesn't start at 9. It starts at 9.30. 9-ish. We say 9.30. I got in trouble for saying 9. I said it on Twitter. I was like, we're, we're playing at 9. And then May was like, we're starting at 9.30. I don't think May would yell at you. Yeah. That was also the one time if where you I follow in at May Leah, you'll see that she's not the kind of person to yell at. Her. Unlike at Voice of Hunter, Hunter Taylor, and at J Carter Rock, Carter Ruddle, and at Slutty Mage, Joey Schichtel. And if you want more content from us, you can follow us at Older and Dumber, and you can support us by joining the Patreon, patreoncom slash Older and Dumber. That's the letter N, not and. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Older and Dumber, the podcast about three dumb friends just trying to make it on this planet we call Earth. 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 Oh, damn. So close, guys. <laughs> so close, guys. Sync the audio. So close. This has been OND Christmas, Slope Day, Vacation, Joining of a Reunion, Family. Family. Thank you once again.